Every business who doesn't have a short form content marketing strategy in 2023 will fail. Studies suggest that 66% of all social media users prefer short form video content to every other content out there. And that was only in 2022. Also platforms like TikTok and Instagram are reporting that users spend an average of 50% more time on short form video content than on other types of content. For TikTok, that's almost an hour per user per day. Insane. So in this video, we're going to look at the short form content marketing strategy that I recommend to most businesses. We're going to look at short form in general and also how many pieces of content you should be creating. If you should also create long form, how often should you post, what type of content you should be doing and everything in between. So first, why is short form content marketing so powerful? Short form content marketing is so powerful because it delivers messages fast. In our society, and I also see that in myself, our attention span is just massively decreasing. People cannot sit still anymore for hours and read books. Everything is so fast. And short form content marketing plugs straight into that. It allows you to convey your message fast, which is perfect for our decreasing attention spans. And it also allows community building and participation. People are commenting, liking, sharing these short videos with their friends and their memes, trends and cultural movements created almost every day by these videos. It's just such a massive turnaround. In the same amount of time it takes someone to watch 10 minutes of YouTube video, you would need 20, 30 second videos, 30, 20 second videos, and 60, 10 second videos. So the demand for videos is just insane as well. We need between 20 to 60 times more video material to saturate the demand. So how many pieces of short form content should you be creating? How often should you post? We recommend between one to three pieces of content per day. And this doesn't have to be a 30 second video, right? It can be seven seconds, it can be 20 seconds, it can be a minute, whatever you feel comfortable with. But produce one piece of content per day on these platforms, not only to get engagement and views, but also to stay consistent. So the algorithm rewards consistency, but you don't have to post every day. But I would recommend you create every day and you might as well post. So for the best short form content marketing strategy, what are the types of content you should be creating? The types of content I recommend to almost all of the businesses are number one, info content. Educate your users, educate your prospects. Tell them interesting stories and give them interesting information in a short form video content. If you can explain in 30 seconds or less what it takes others five minutes to explain, you will win the attention of the users. People like it short and sweet. And you can also differentiate yourself with the education that you bring to the table. And I do think it's actually easier to create some informational content rather than some random entertainment content. Second type of content you should be producing are trends. Try to give some trend following a shot. If it's not for you, then don't do it. But I do feel it's a really easy way of getting exposure. It's an easy way of learning the language of the platforms. And it's also an easy way if you ran out of ideas. Just look at what's trending or ask someone like me and then replicate the trend. This can just be a great way of getting some instant views and exposure. Number three is lifestyle content. People want to know about your life. People want to know what you do. People don't want a nameless brand, they want a person. In this day and age, personal brands almost always trump you know, the generic business brands. Because we as humans like to communicate with humans and not with robots. So shoot content about what you do in your life, how your day looks, what you eat, what you do in general, what kind of people you meet. Maybe put some inspirational text next to it. And this is also a great way of incorporating trending sounds. So one more time, the three types of content you should be doing should be info content, trends, and lifestyle content. But of course you can try some different kind of things. Always experiment. And don't forget, you need something on the back end of the short form content if you want to turn the viewers into customers. Don't skip on long form content like YouTube or webinars that you post in a Facebook group because you will need a mechanism to keep the audience around. Entertaining and educating short form clips are nice, but people want to go deeper. They want to learn more. Once they like you, they want to learn more and engage more with your brand. So also post two to four pieces of long form content per month, either on YouTube or on a webinar format in a Facebook group, because that's the best way if you want to turn the attention into customers. So 30 pieces of short form content per month and two to four long form pieces of content. So how do you find ideas for your short form content marketing? If you don't have ideas for videos, here are a couple of tips. First, make a list of the questions that you get frequently asked. People want their questions answered. And if you get questions asked a lot, 
it makes sense to make a video about it. If you don't know what people are gonna ask, go on Google and search for the most frequently asked questions in your niche and in your space. There you can find an infinite amount of questions. Then research and look at what other creators in your space and around you are doing that is working. Look for popular videos, take the inspiration from those videos and then recreate and repurpose it for yourself. Don't just copy it. Remember the saying by Picasso, good artists copy, great artists steal. If you do these three things, you will have more than enough ideas for months and years on end. And I cannot stress this enough. The most important part of your video is the hook, what you say in the first two to three seconds. And if you don't know what a good hook is, then you should absolutely watch this video. It will tell you everything you need to know about video hooks.